Hi, Dan Paladin bringing you another episode of The Mortgage Morsel. On this episode, I wanted to talk about uh, some self-employment programs or programs that are geared for the self-employed. Um, recently, I've been getting quite a few phone calls on alternative income uh, for that type of borrower uh, when tax returns don't quite do the trick. So there are several programs. Uh, we'll start with uh, the simplest one which would be uh, 12 or 24 months bank statements can be business or personal or sometimes uh, a combination. Um, so pretty self-explanatory. We look at deposits on those bank statements to come up with an income. Uh, there's also another one where we just use uh, a CPA letter along with a year to date P&L and uh, go with the income off the P&L. Uh, also, there's uh, those that have lots of assets in the bank, uh, asset depletion, and there's a formula to come up with a uh, income based on the assets they've accumulated over time. On the investor side, uh, we have programs where the if they're purchasing a rental property, they could qualify just from the debt service of the property, meaning if the rental income is equal to or greater than the mortgage payment, they qualify. That's it, done deal. Really simple. Uh, on all these programs, there are no tax returns and no 4506 Ts. So it does help with your self-employed borrower when their tax returns just really aren't gonna do the trick and help them qualify. So these programs could come into play um, if you feel you've got a, a borrower that uh, Again, traditionally, full doc will not work. Uh, this could be a great alternative. So that's it for this episode. If you have any questions or have a borrower that might fit one of these types of scenarios, feel free to reach out to me and we can discuss it uh, more specifically to that scenario. And uh, I'll see you next time on The Mortgage Morsel. And if you're working, I'm working.